what's going down everyone brand new chipset and thank you to the community of people that let me know what's going down i know there's a brand new adrenaline software that i'll be working on shortly after and uploading later on today among a few other projects that i'll be home running and knocking out for my tech community my name is mac here with the mcgaver 7 channel today we'll be looking at the new brand new amd chipset so let's go ahead and dive in and see what's changed and there are some promising things i ran some blender tests some benchmarks across the board and it was pretty promising nothing that's a percentage jump but it is in the right direction now i have this link down below for most people wanting to install directly it's very simple very easy and a small install for me my board is going to be the s TRX4, which is the next generation of Threadripper until they completely go past a pro portion. And you can see right now for Windows 10, they have this operable that you can download directly over here. On the fourth one, this was about like roughly about a week and I wanted to play around with it to make sure that it was stable and it was working and it just been beautiful. I, quite frankly, on two computers that I installed, I have thoroughly been impressed with it. Now let's look at our driver details. The afflicted portion is directly down right over here, which will be joining the actual included package. But where are our release notes what's changed general system stability improvements which our benchmarks will prove and back to back that they are there and the fixed execute for as far as the installer goes now also for the known issues that are still out there and at large you have the manual system resets required on the non-english os's after the installation is completed sometimes the windows installer pops up and the message may appear during the install and the uninstall log may not be generated in the silent mode so very minute things as you can kind of see that this is going to be a nice package for as far as what goes down as we look at the very finite portions of what this detailed like list is from advanced micro devices or just plainly amd we're going to go ahead and jump over to our benchmarks now straight off the bat when we look at time spy and the reason why i'm going to be looking at time spy extreme is because you're pushing the 4k portion on top of your actual processor and we're not gonna we're gonna ignore the top score and the graphics score we're gonna be more looking at the cpu score the older chipset is on the left and the newer chipset is on the right and you can see right above there is a actual pretty good point percentage going up you will not see an 81 to an 82 but what you will see is a 1670 uh, ish looking probably because you have to have a variable so probably the 771 to 791 which it topped out at and then we jump over to the new chipset and it's 16 and if you probably minus that again within about a 20 variant you're probably looking at a 33 that's still roughly about 150 points above in the processing points so you are gaining now this is where it became rather interesting nothing was changed in between these and just jumping between the old chipset and new chipset it wins but it actually by a hair the old cpu runs a tad bit faster but the graphics score isn't running in tandem you can see look at the jump up right there that's pretty crazy for a chipset so it seems like with 1080p gaming if you're running it directly on your processor and it's utilizing those cores it's going to be running pretty decent and stable and you're going to get a pretty good acceleratable point where it's going to be running with tandem with your gpu so leave a comment down below if you've experienced that with certain games and all of a sudden you're like dude my fps just went up like no tomorrow leave a comment what game what cpu and what gpu are you rocking now let's go ahead and look at blender and see what ended up coming down as we look at this it looks almost identical how do we tell the difference well we're going to scan right over here and we're going to see what ends up happening for as far as percentage points as you can see the 46 dot 35 which we're going into milliseconds it's a lot faster for the reduction portion versus this where you're still having about nine milliseconds over it so you are getting some more processing points if you are doing graphic design and utilizing that processor for as far as what's happening if you're new to the network you can always like share and subscribe this concludes our patch notes for the chipset that amd has just dropped and for future installments i thank you very much to the community that lets me know all these things that are changing and i've been trying to change the program we're testing these a little bit more to get those variants as i explained between the 20 drops and testing them over and over again throughout a week span to get more accurate though next time i will be more hastily uploading this now that i have a rhythm of what programs i want to run so See you guys and gals in the near future. Stay safe, stay classy. And if you are new and did subscribe, crack that Liberty Bell, the notification. You'll get all the new technological updates that roll out in the near future. See you there.